Truck is XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Legends of Arceus. In the previous episode that we did, we completed we completed the next warden challenge. Today's episode right now, we should be going to another area. So if you have today's episode, make sure that like my subscribe to the channel. Because I just want to keep on making progress in this game. Really do. Catch all that stuff, explore new places and all that good stuff. Where the heck was that lady I did before? And what I mean by before, I meant some quest. Oh, it was this guy. <clears throat> Wanda made it back home safe. Boy, I am ever glad to ask you. You're just as good as everyone says you are. One is still new to the security corps. You understand, and she's a bit flightly at the best. Of times, so I can't help but worry about her. If it's not asking too much, do you think you could continue to keep an eye on her? Oh, what the heck? Well, alrighty then, we got Stardust. Anyways, let's get on going to the next task at hand. Upstairs, upstairs. Let's see what's up. We should be moving on to the third area. This is not the area. This is. This is still the second floor. I need to go upstairs. I don't know what I was thinking. Coming in. I command you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in Kermit's and Meyerlands. Your next orders are to begin to survey the Cobalt Coastlands. I will let you know in advance there are no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. Now, we have had reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island the lord used to call his home. We have also received word from the, both the security corps and the supply corps. It seems some of the members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials around Firespit Island. There are some serious concerns, and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate this discretion of our late lord's seat. Normally, I entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order to investigate these reports. The Lordless Island. I'll meet you at Kobo Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Well, the oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to drop into. I'm sorry. I get nothing of it. Shiraka is a talented and hardworking member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure he'll sort things out. Indeed. He quelled the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both his strength and his kindness firsthand. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It is farther afield than the Crimson Meyerlands, much farther, and the path is long trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your mission. Investigate Fire Spit Island. Our current ranking? So we wouldn't proceed with, with if we did do the thing? Alrighty then. Team! Hopefully this team is strong enough for whoever we're going to battle us first. Because for some reason, Akari just decides to come in whenever she wants and wants to battle us, I'm assuming. So let us proceed. Hmm? Geodude, what's up? Another battle? Leon? If it isn't Shiraka, who's Leon? Hey, it's the young kid. Though I suppose it's to be expected that I run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Oh yeah, the Kobo Coastlets. Oh, the Kobo Coastlets. Paulina is certainly in a bit of situation over there. She's a warden, yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that will speak ill of her, though not to her face. But, but do forgive me, perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice then, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold most mysterious power. With that right stone, you can evolve some Pokemon. You need to look no further than the Cleaver for a proof of that. What do we need for Cleaver? What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and your servant course want to learn all there is to know about Pokemon of this region, then the stones you find throughout Hisui will be very important. There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation. The very same power our Monticito used to create the universe. 
I trust you you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important stones can be. To help grind this fact into you. Here, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I've found. Grid Pibbles. A mysterious pebble that can raise the effort level for one Pokemon stats. It can be used only if the effort level is at least level 6 and no greater level what or efforts. And you should have won some stones that can help Pokemon evolve. I believe the Jinko Guild has them from time to time. Yes, I've seen those. Uh, let's go check out our new hairstylist. Hairstyling, please. I want to look good for once. Okay, what she got? What she got? What's this? What's that? The middle part? Hey, not bad. Modern. Modern. Yeah, not really. Braids. I mean, that's our original style. I'm, I'm rocking around with this. I'll rock out with that. Oh, it's the color. Hold up. That's blonde. Ooh, I like crimson. Uh, that's Elliot. That one guy from... We'll go crimson as her. It's our eyebrows, right? Yep. Keep it black. Let's do it. Do my hair. Yes, sir. I'll wear it. Eh, not bad, not bad. I say it looks like we're <laughs> it looks like we're the main character of the or of the original. But okay, I'm um, clothed. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Buy club. She has a request. Every day. Fancy. Fancy. Lilligant. Festival. I wish I was more modern, to be honest. Yo, we got a suit in this? Hold up, hold up. We might actually rock out with the suit. Hold up. Hold up. We're actually gonna rock out of the suit. I'll rock out with it. I don't know what year we're in, but let's rock out with it. We're gonna drip so hard. Hold up. And we got the money for it, too. Crimson on crimson. Yes, sir. Okay, but our shoes. Our shoes have to... Or sandals. We have to match. We have to. Boots. We got boots. Hold up. We got... We got... Every, we got the drip. We got the actual drip. Let's get it. Can we take off our freaking thing? Eyeglasses. Monocle? We got the monocle in here. Yeah. Flat cap. Woven. Flat. Twisted headband. Headband. Okay, we can rock out something here, please. A bowler hat? Oh my god, Watson, you. We got a bowler hat. Let's rock out with it. Crimson. Uh, that, 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 crimson on crimson. Let's get it. Let's rock out with it. We're broke now. We're broke. I spent a good 10 minutes just changing our, our fit. We're stupid, but let's go. We're dripping in the wild now. Let's go. We'll rock out this in the entire playthrough. Alright. Next up... The Lordless Island. Let's go. This should give us the the basculin, if anything. 
Ah, look at us. We're dripped out. I see nothing about water. I'm just saying we need a mon that can we can ride on that can use water. But Ah, the Cobalt Coast lets us simply lovely corner of history, sea, and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types or flying types, perhaps? Oh, I simply can't wait to study them all. Pip, chip, here we go, Watson. Now, I'm sure you're just excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you got a mission to go accomplish. So, any questions before you get started? Hmm, indeed. Fire Spit Island is an offshore volcano. You'll need to cross the sea to reach it. I'll advise you to speak to a fellow can. Hey, he's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens, and he will surely find your way. Yo, we just dripped the fuck out. Look at this drip. Look at this drip. Alrighty then. We got everything that we need. We just need... How much Pokeballs do I have? We got 38. And I, st I definitely need to grind out more stuff on the side. Oh, we got 48, 42. Iron Chucks. Just in case, because it's going to get harder and harder from here on out. All right. Let's go, dear Watson. Hey, it's homegirl. Are we gonna battle her? We look so stupid. What's with the flute? We try to take things seriously, but we look stupid. <laughs> I do love the flute. It feels as if the tones carry to the very end of space. But I'm here, and so are you. So now I'm going to focus on everything I have on- I KNEW IT! Very good. You have seen the vast space beyond the rift. Here I come. I knew I was going to battle someone. Glaciata! Grottle! Please don't use a nice move, Rattle Bay. You're 28, aren't you? Eevee? What's an Eevee doing here? Hey, that's cheating! Why is there- Why is there an Eevee? Ah, bulldoze! Why was there an Eevee to begin with? This is not fair! It was a sacrificial pawn. Why was there an Eevee to begin with? Go! Quilava! Agile style, flame wheel. Yeah, I don't try strong style. And even with we use agile style, we're still not gonna go attack right away. Why is there an Eevee out here? I just wanna know why. See, this is what I mean. Why does it get attacked twice again? Isn't that the point of agile style for us to attack again? Like really? Come on now, son. Let's go. I don't know why you're here, but you're going down. Down, down, down. Roll out. Okay, you're still living. I. Yo! Why is it level 15? And they just used a strong style to knock me out. Not fair. Not fair, not fair, not fair. Yeah, 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 shut up. I'll charge you in after this episode. That's a lie. Star Arabia, let's go. Finish it off so I can charge the dang Wii, Wii Joy-Con controller. Strong style air slash. Eevee's on into battle. Battle decided. Ah, uh, now I feel better. The world is vast, and I am small within it. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. I can't get. We're so serious, and yet we look dumb. Alright, with you, I think I... With you, I can be Frank. Hey, Frank. 
I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander, but in truth, I sometimes wonder how I ended up in the burdens of a bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Paulina. But she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. Paulina, that is to say, Paulina, she's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We're both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. Aren't you the leader of the Pearl Clan? We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. Having said all this, I have a favor I ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after in a true heir to his father, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know if anyone I trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up the headland. Head down this hill and turn left and you find the slope leading up the ridge. Head to the Veilstone. I knew it. Veilstone City. This is where we at because we're... Veilstone City is like in this area. This is where that... What? Wasn't that where the direction to the Pokemon League is at? Oh my god, it is. Alrighty then. Hey. You don't see me. I don't see you. I'm gonna say it's a Meowstic, but that's not Meowstic. Let me out your mu- Thank you! Thank you! Okay, I guess the hunting began. We're 700 meters away. Get closer, fool. Thank you. Number two, caught. Level up. That's level 28, too. Hey, it's feel. Why is it so slow? God damn it. Glamiel, come back. Hey, it's Staravia. You don't see me, I don't see you, I'ma catch you. And why is it raining all of a sudden? Wait, that's not the that's not what I was thinking of, but okay. Alright. Strong style hypnosis. Let's do it. Put it to sleep. Wait, yo, chill on me. Yeah, hey, it's not fair. Okay, I'll get serious the moment I catch this next glam. Yeah. You're mine. Thank you. Stay in the ball. Thank you. Let's keep on going. Hey, Starly. Did we only- we, we got some, I'm about to say. Did I just saw one of those? Hold up, let me get- Don't attack me because I'm dripped out. Sfeel! You're mine! Yes, sir! Level 30. Hey, little guy. Thank you. Thank you. Get back here. Hey, it's Korupi. I 
Do I have an electric type? No, I do not. Oh, that's a whole. Skorupi? That's Skorupi's right there. That's a whole. I can't think of the name right now, but let's get the heck out of here. She set up the ridge, right? Let's keep on going. You did not see me whatsoever. Hey, beauty fly. What else can we see, find around here? Motham? Oh, we need to get a warmer them. We need a female warmer them. What are the odds? I have no idea. So many cur look, curlia. Blamios. You don't see me. Why is she all the way all the way over there? I know we had a Hey Vulpix! <clears throat> oh, that's an old Perugly right there. trying to avoid that I'm just saying chief why are we surrounded by cats hey Growlithe she's Paulina I'm assuming that's the successor hush now settle down I am Paulina of the Pearl Clan, and who might you be? Bandana? Ah, so you're the child from the Galaxy Team. I heard how you aided Cleaver and Lilligan when none other could quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. So what brings you to Cobalt Coastlands? We have no lord here, much less of a frenzy one, for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out of the sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. If you were to guess, which of those these growlet would you say is the previous lord's child? The big one? That's what everyone says at first, but no. This quiet, skittish... Growlithe is the child of the previous lord. I have no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. There are those who expect me to train him more strictly force lordship upon him before he is ready, but I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live his life as he wishes. So now what you, now you know the situation. Might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? I make for Fire Spit Island. A survey of Fire Spit Island, I see. There are rumors the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. You'll need the aid of a Pokemon known as a Basculagion if you wish to cross the sea. You should speak to Iceken, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. There is definitely something strange happening on the, out on the Fire Spit Island. Those shadowy figures are concerning, of course, but then there's also the odd lightning that came from the rift in the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry that we may have offended Almighty Sindel somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and Diamond Clan were looked in conflict over which side revered the, the true Almighty Sinnoh. Even if we're reached an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there are still still those who worship a false image of it. But I digest. I do apologize. Icecan lives on lives on Apon Hill, just just past Jinko Lang Landing. I imagine you will find him there. Another one thousand meters away. Oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna have a field trip right there. So you mean to tell me, whatever that was became the, uh, the Pokemon League? Alrighty then. With that, we'll end the episode right here. Like and subscribe, Shark is and I'm sending out.